Do you want to know more about these easy to sew beginner friendly patterns? Because if you do, keep watching because that's exactly what this video is about. So my name is Lara and this is my sewing channel, Sewing Up Style. And I would like to welcome you to talking about these very easy patterns. This video isn't going to be very long because the patterns were so easy there's not much to talk about. I'm going to talk about Simplicity 9379 first. I made version A. It is just a simple t-shirt front, back, and sleeves. This is the second time I've used this pattern for a t-shirt. The first time I used it to make a shirt for my son, the ghost t-shirt. I'll see if I can find any pictures because it was a really cute t-shirt. Um, this time I made up a t-shirt for my husband and I used this beautiful, it's beautiful, it's really interesting. Um, we saw this at, it's a textured knit and we saw it at Walmart. It was a Walmart bundle and it was just so, um, just so unique. I'd never seen a knit like that before and my husband liked it and I'm not a um, cream color wearer usually. On the inside of the so you can see here that I did not serge the edges and I wish I would have but um, I thought about it after I had it on I'm not used to having my serger <laughs> and then I was like well shoot but anyway um, fleece it's sweatshirt fleece on the inside so it's a nice thick um, t-shirt and it hangs nicely on him it was easy to sew with you would have thought that um, those little frayy edges would have been coming off right and left, but they really don't. Um, yeah, so I have a twirl with my husband coming up. So um, that just hang on a second and you will see how the basic t-shirt turned out. And then the other shirt or garment that I made was Simplicity 9857. I made this version, however, I did not put any buttons on. Um, I didn't want the buttons. Uh, I, I prefer, it. I would never put the, like close it anyway. I want it to be a loose um, kind of like just a jacket. So I just didn't even bother putting on the buttons. I did think about maybe putting a ribbon here to tie, but again, I would probably never use it. So I just decided not to do anything you know like that it's just a straight front I can kind of show you guys hold on it's just a straight front I do have a twirl like I said but um, so you can see like the whole thing but um, I made a size large and that is a 47 and a half inch bust the medium was a 43 and a half inch bust and it just would not have been um, flowy loose enough um, I actually made this in preparation for my Discovering Denim um, collaboration coming up on Friday, Friday, February 14th. Um, so tune in because this will be showing up again. Um, again, it was super easy. Um, there's the, the front and the back and the sleeves. And there was a facing on this one. And I did actually do my serger. <laughs> I did it on mine. I just didn't do it on my husband's. I feel guilty. I did go back and serge just the arm, like this side seam and the arm seam um, so that, you know, it wouldn't fray on, on this, the side seams where I imagine there would probably be more wear. I did go back. I, I kind of tried to make up for the fact that I did not initially do his serging. Um, yeah, anyway, um, so there's this facing in here. And there's a back facing and then of course the side facing you sew them together you sew it to the front and the back um, you know after you've sewn, sewn the the shoulder seams and then you put on the sleeves and um, sew up the side seams put in the hems and you are done so um, I like it sorry I like it very much so so here is our reveal
enjoy this video. I hope you will come back and join me on Wednesday for our Discovering Denim collaboration. And then the week after that, I think I'm going to do the You Asked For It version three or episode three. And then after that will be um, the um, I Saw It, I Liked It, I Made It. So stay tuned, subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. And thank you to everybody who watched this video. I'll see you next. I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.